friends and welcome to Obsidian Soft. In today's class, we will be completing our dinosaur game that we had started in the previous class. We had written the code for our animation of our dinosaur and we had also written the code for its jump and we had defined a separate block for our jumping code, okay? And as you can see that our dinosaur is jumping very smoothly because we are using physics in its jumping code, okay? and make sure that you follow the code exactly as I have explained to you, okay? Even the order is super important, okay? So now let's add the background. I cannot add the background in my stage because the stage does not have any motion blocks and I have to move the background, okay? Because our dinosaur is just moving its legs and it is the background that is scrolling, okay? So I have to make my sprite act as a background. So go to choose a sprite, but paint it. And I'm going to draw a black line and make sure that it is 100% straight and horizontal, that is at 180 degrees. And how can I make sure of that? I need to press shift on my keyboard while drawing it using the line tool. Okay, so draw it while pressing shift, okay? And select it to make it a bit thicker. Side outline, increase the thickness of the outline. So I made it five and make sure that it is exactly in the center of the canvas and then change its position here. Give it a nice position, okay? Let's see how it looks in our full screen. It looks fine, okay? And we can add more detail to this background. So let's add that. Make sure that you do not draw anything on the right hand side or the left hand side of this background. Keep the detail towards the middle, okay? So I can make it as detailed as possible, my background. I can even add some colors and all that to customize my version of Dinosaur Game. So let's rename it to Ground. And let's write the code for it to be scrolled towards the left. So when flag is clicked, I want to first of all store its position. One thing is that I want this line to be exactly in the middle of the screen horizontally. So I have to set my X to zero. And now store this position in my code. When flag is clicked, go to zero and minus 86. Okay. Next is that I want my background to scroll towards the left inside a forever loop. So control forever, go to motion, move, not 10 steps, it accidentally moved, minus eight steps, okay? So my code ran and my line is stuck on the left hand side. I want to bring it back when it reaches this point, okay? So how can I check for that? I can check position at which it, it reaches this point and I can bring it back. So I can go to control and get the if block. And inside there, I can check when my X position is less than a certain point, I want to change it to this position, okay? So I'm going to go and get the less than block. And inside that, I'm going to check for my X position. So go to motion and get the X position block. And inside that, check when X is less than minus 470, okay? So to be on the safer side, I'm not going to make it exactly like this. I want the number to be a bit bigger than minus 475. So I'm going to make it 470 minus 470 and set X to the new position and that is 470. So let's try this code if it works. So see it's working. As soon as I reach this point and my x position becomes less than minus 470, it restarts from here, the opposite end, okay? But we still have this white area left. So we can take care of this problem by duplicating our ground. Okay, so let's duplicate our ground. Now we have two grounds and we just need to give a second ground the middle position. So it's always joined to our first ground and as our first ground reaches this point, our second ground is covering up that white position. Okay. The only thing that I need to do is that for my second ground, my X is not zero, it is 470, that is the opposite edge. So let's try this code now. 
and you can see how smooth it looks now. There is no white space between the two grounds and it looks as if it's the same ground that is moving towards the left, okay? Let's give a new position to our dyno because it should be on the left and let's store this new position. When flag is clicked, after the speed has been set, store the dyno position. Okay, so that has been stored and now we just need to add a score variable and then we will add the cacti, okay? So make a variable, call it score and we want our score to increase in a forever loop. So let's do that in the ground. Let's set the score to zero in our ground code. So that is in the very beginning when the game is started, I'm setting the score to zero and every time I'm going through one iteration of the loop, I am increasing the score by one. Change score by one. Okay, so you can see that it is running and it is always set to zero when flag is clicked. Okay, now let's add the cacti. So I'm just going to draw a sprite. So choose a sprite, paint one, and I'm going to draw a green colored cactus. Let's try to do it. I'm not so good at drawing. So use the paint one. So the cactus. Is almost like a trident or a fork. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it doesn't look that awesome, but that's okay. I'm pretty sure that you will do a better job than me. Okay, so just fill it up, just bring it down a bit. Oh, I accidentally added a dot here, so let's just remove it first and reduce its size. Bring it down a bit. Our dino has to avoid touching these cacti. So now that means that our cactus will not be just still there. It will be also moving with the ground. So its code is very similar to our ground code. So let's just duplicate the code from our ground and put it inside the cactus. Okay. So let's first of all rename the sprite to cactus. And from the ground code, pick up this code and drag it to the cactus until it wiggles. And now our cactus also has the ground code, but we will be removing the score related code in it because we cannot have the score related code in, in two places. That would be redundant. So I have removed the score related code and I just need to fix my XY positions for the cactus. Okay, so let's stop the code and figure out a good initial position for the cactus. So when we start the game, the cactus should come somewhere here and let's store that position. Instead of that old ground position I'm going to have this cactus position store that one and I have to figure out when I should repeat my cactus so let's bring it here and find out when it touches the leftmost edge so when it touches the leftmost edge x is minus 212 so change this one to minus 212 and make this positive 212 okay so let's try this how it looks okay and now we just need to add the code that our game stops when we touch the cactus so inside our dinosaur code if within the forever loop I touch the cactus I am going to stop all the entire script okay stop the game okay and let's after this key space pressed let's add another if block and if from sensing get the touching block 
if touching choose cactus i want to broadcast a message because i want to show a game over sprite and i i i need to draw it too but i will draw it later just let's broadcast the message first so i'm going to broadcast a message game over and i'm going to stop all stop all will stop all the scripts that are currently running okay for all sprites okay so let's try this code and see everything stopped when the dino touched the cactus let's add the game over sprite so go and paint a new sprite and use the text tool write down game over make it bigger bring it in the center of the canvas because that is very important when we are drawing or painting any sprite always make sure that it is in the center of this canvas okay and double click on it to select it and choose the font pixel let's write some code for it okay first of all let's give it an x0 and y0 position okay so that it's exactly in the center no i think it should be a bit higher so this is better okay but make sure that x stays zero okay so when flag is clicked i'm going to hide my game over sprite and i'm going only going to show when i receive the message that the game is over this message will be sent by our dino when it touches the cactus so i'm just going to show the game over sprite so let's try this code i jumped over the cactus and when i touched the cactus my game is over i can make the appearance of my cactus more random by waiting for a little bit of time before showing the cactus so how can i do that i can first of all hide my cactus after giving it a new position and just wait for a random period of time so let's go to control get the wait block and go to operators and get the pick random block pick random 1 2 3 seconds and then show okay so this will make the appearance of the cactus a bit more random to make the game more interesting okay so let's show it now let's try out how our game looks pick on the green flag and as you can see that the appearance of the cactus is now a bit more random we can customize this game further we can add different costumes of the cactus so that it doesn't look as if the same cactus is appearing again we can customize the game to give the night version of this background just invert the colors make the background black and the line white when a certain score has been reached and we can even make the scrolling towards the left for the background and the cactus faster if we put this minus 8 steps inside a variable so we can do a lot of stuff with this basic version of our dino games so have fun coding this cool dino game and impress your friends and family with your amazing coding do share my video with your friends and family and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so so that you don't miss any of my coding app development or metal math classes thank you so much for watching my video have a good day and goodbye